Okay, down we go. Come on, gentlemen. We're going for a trip. Come in. Oops. You. Right, it's this room, wasn't it? Right, before we continue. I should have stored some of my stuff, really. That was my mistake, anyway. Inventory full. Wow, okay. Ugh, can I, I might drop something here, actually. Always, it might, it's an easy place to come back and get it, so... I'm going to need more ammo. That is, without a doubt, I'm going to be using ammo. So, let's pick up as much as we can. And save it before we carry on. There's some more writing on the wall as well. Uh, where are we at? Uh, this one. Ooh. What's that say? No god. Wait, no god. No fear. No god. No fear. Hm. I can't read that one. The... the don't... It's like cursive or something. It's a bit low res as well. Run and hide. Don't stay here. It's not safe here anymore. I got that bit. Linda, if I don't make it back, take care of the kids for me. Love you. By Steve. Followed by Steve writing some weird shit on the wall. Damn it, Steve. It's like a young Ron Perlman showing off his massive biceps there. In case you get your arms lopped off. Pimp stance, is this the correct way? Come on, come on. No, I can't help you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Excuse me, sir, do you know there's some sort of creature behind you? Oh. Sir, there's, sir, there's a creature behind you. Finish you turn around. Ah. Oh. Well. You know it's going to be a rough day when you've got to destroy. That looks explosive. Let's take it with us. Speaking of ethical dilemmas, I'm pretty sure growing ginormous babies. They look pretty big. Yo! How explosive resistant are you? I'm interested. That doesn't explode. That's a oh, you're not dead. That's extra. Ah! Bad, bad baby. Bad baby. <laughs> oh yeah, he drop kicks them. I completely forgot that. Ha. Uh, I mean, speaking of ethical dilemmas, there ain't nothing unethical about drop kicking an evil, like, sort of super baby. Just saying. This, on the other hand, I assume this is what they do. They grow these for body parts, don't they? Ooh. Sorry, I'm just going to stomp your corpse a second. Uh, he doesn't drop any loot. I mean, this is just weird. Oh, hello. You alright? Where you at? Whoa! Right, I'm not done with you either, so if you can just, yeah. Right, I'm just gonna need to reload. You alright? Sit, sit there a second. Thank you. Freaky. Disturbing. Unsettling. Ooh, body parts. Hmm, makes sense it wouldn't smash, I suppose. Oh, look, they keep all the, like, little details i never noticed before. They keep all the different parts you need in little containers so they're easy to sort of get to. So presumably if you've lopped off your hand while mining, you can just come in, you can just come in here and go get a new one. Also, it looks like they were growing really big people for different organs, I guess. Or really big babies for things. I don't know, I don't want to guess. Yes, security phone, yes, hello, security. This I appear to have some sort of moral dilemma walking through here. Ah, we're back here again. That worked out well. Thermite. Plasma energy. Alright, that thermite you picked up should be able to melt through the barricade. Use the shock pad to ignite it. Hope I can hold this position. I can hear something big moving out there. Eh. Big's relative. Just cut off its limbs, as everyone keeps telling me. Now, did I leave anything anywhere that I need to go back and pick up? Let's have a look. I left something downstairs. Pretty full, I think.
Oh, I missed. That was dumb. Up. Uh. Uh. There's a squelching noise. Oh, hello. Oh, you're armored. Okay, well. Alright. Stop that. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. None of that. Bad evil creatures. Going. I swear I cleared out this corridor. Something seems to come from nowhere. Right, I need to drop off my money and other bits and bobs. Where's the store? Aha! Right, let's have a nosy. First of all, I want to, uh... Oh, nice. I had a schematic on me, did I? Okay, let's have a look. I want to get rid of the gold semiconductor, because that's what you can do with it. Yes, I'm sure. I've got a lot of plasma energy and lime racks, which I don't need right now, so we'll sell those. That's a thousand. That's nice. Okie dokie, let's have a look what we can get from the shop. So, we've got the level 2 suit already. The pulse rounds are new. Small air can. Uh, and a power node for 10,000. Well, that's a waste right now. And we're not really spending on anything else. Currently, I'm not going to buy a line gun or a pulse rifle or a flamethrower. Because, one, I did the line gun last time. And it was cool. I mean, it'd be useful for clearing out, like, areas. But I'm going to wait and see if we get any cooler enemies. Maybe, like, like enemies. Like guns and stuff like the Ripper or something. That I remember being cool. Uh, right. No, I don't want to buy stuff. I want to go next. There we go. So let's see, what can I put in bank? I don't need both large med packs, that's for certain, so let's move that. I mean, I don't need large med packs at all right now, in fact, like mediums would be fine. Yeah, that'll be fine. That's cool. Okay. I did leave one stasis-y thing down there, but I'm really not that worried about just the one. I mean, it's always going to be there if I really want to sort of go down and get it, I suppose. It's not far to go. The chances are I'll be coming back through here, I'd imagine. Anyway, let's blow shit up. Well, just while you got that welding helmet on, I want you to be blind right now. Okay, you're through. Should be clear from there to the morgue. Remember, the codes are on the captain's body. <laughs> This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan transmitting ship wide. We need more help. We don't have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell us what's happening. These wounds. We are not equipped to deal with this. God! Get him to the table. Hold him. Nurse, you hold him down. Christ. Every quarter. That was Nicole, right? I can't tell from here when that log was made. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. Well, let's just hope she wasn't one of the things that spat at me earlier. I have a pretty bad feeling about this. That hole reminds me of something. The clinic. Oh. Fuck this ship. Sorry, we are full. Uh, this is the waiting room, I guess? Looks nice. Pim stands. Where do you want me to go? Right. Other way, then. Save me. I'm interested. Where do they get all these graffiti cans from? Like, I mean, you need, like, paint and stuff to scribble on the walls. They come in equipped into the clinic with paint? Hey, it's okay to be fucked. Give them hope. Give them strength. They'll last a bit longer. We are so far. Don't open that door. It's time. Graffiti's cool. I mean, it's creepy. Very creepy, but... You know. Just find it a bit odd that everyone seemed to have, like, paint cans to hand. <laughs> Alright. Bastard. Oops. It's easy to get sideways with these guys. Oh, nice! They're both dead? 
dead? Give me a stomping. Give me a crushing. He's not dead. Oh, why are you not dead? Don't get angry at me about it. It's your bloody fault. Sweet. There's a lot of dead people here. More line racks. I think that's a thousand each time. That's not bad, especially as I'm not using them right now. Alright, well, this flashing light's gonna do my wig in, so let's get the lights back on. With this very handy portable battery that for some reason someone took out. Oh, we can recharge our O2 in here. That sounds ominous. <laughs> Gee, I hope the oxygen doesn't get sucked out of the room or something. That would, that would suck. That would suck a lot. Damn it, Isaac. Is that it? Plasma energy. And delicious money. Plasma energy is good for shooting dead babies. That doesn't put me on a watch list. Rude. Oh, you came back to me. That's nice. I thought we'd have to hunt you down. Yeah, none of that. I don't know what you thought would happen, dead baby chum. Like, do you usually yell at me? No, I just, you know. I just live with that. Lady! Lady, you can't just charge around the corner and expect a man not to suddenly open fire on you with a plasma cutter. It's, I'm surprised to see you. It's all these dead people, lady. It makes me paranoid. They just come around, scream around the corner, yelling, freaking out. There's one behind me, isn't it? I knew it! Run away! You dead? Oh, okay. Well, partially. Damn, I got like a whole collection of neckies here. Nice. Got more neckies than a donkey on country. Ugh. Weird. Well, power lock enabled, I know. I'm gonna override with one delicious power node. Wow, I'm so not gonna have all the room for this. Schematic line racks. Handy. A med kit. Okay, well, that's nice. That's a pretty efficient room. Lots and lots and lots of ammo. Probably more than enough to miss everything that moves. Pardon me, come through. What's this over here? A stasis pack, which is kind of useful, but I'm sort of full on everything ever. Mm. I need another shot, but there isn't one back for a while. A lot of suck going on here. Hello? Can anybody hear me? My name is Eileen Fisk. I just woke up in here and everybody was gone. I don't know what's happening. Why did they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please come for me. I can hear scratching in the wall. Hello? Who's there? Are, are you a doctor? Why is everyone... Wait, I know you. You're Harris, the prisoner from the colony. You killed that nurse. Help! Somebody help me! Please! Please! Shit. Well, that one jumped into the vents. Ooh! Ugh. Hello? Jumping to vents is illegal, by the way. I made it so in my new, like, Dead Space lore. Ah, it's a text log. Newborns. Uh. That's cute. I hope I haven't shot half of them. I probably have actually shot half of them. Feel a bit bad about that. Ooh. Okay, let's use one of these. I just realised I had one of these in my inventory, therefore could have filled up on the other one. Never mind. Being incompetent is part of, uh, basically my middle name at this point. 
Yeah, we also have Plasma energy. An oxygen recharge, again, does not bode well. Nine racks, another 1,000 uh, credits. And a shit ton of dead people. Fab. Excuse me. Excuse me. What are you doing? That doesn't look like a safe medical procedure. I'm not a doctor, I'm an engineer. But, uh... Anyway. There's some squishing and squelching going on. Isaac doesn't like uh, smacking things when he's next to it, he just slides away. Wow, that is some sturdy glass. Never mind. What do we have here? Science log from Dr. Kine, the chief science officer. To the captain. Benjamin. Good name, by the way. Further to our previous conversation, I asked that you delay bringing the marker up from the planet for a day or two. You know, I'm keen. I'm as keen as anyone to study it in detail, and I understand your sense of urgency given the events on the colony. But that's why I ask, what's happening down there is just too unique, too unprecedented, to cut it short without proper time to study the causes and effects. In light of a discussion I had with Dr. Mercer, I'd like to meet with uh, Drs. Skiralio and Welland, Planetside, to get their observation. Terence. I assume that uh, follows on from the little video log we saw. Mercer's office, which is currently locked, which is unfortunate, and a save station, which is fortunate because it seems like a good place to stop. Hope you enjoyed this set. Next time, I, don't know, I can't remember. I'll just go for that door and see what happens. That's how I figure it. In fact, let's have a sneak peek. Oh god. Oh Jesus. It's one of these IVs. That yeah, looks fine. Oh, that is not fine. Fuck. It's not fine at all.